Well, there you go. If you're new here to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Matthew Sharapa. I read a lot of translated fiction. I also read a lot of other types of fiction and occasionally nonfiction. It's booktube, that's what we do here. Never when I started my channel a year ago did I think that anything would come of it. And in fact, so much has. All of the things that most people say, you know, I've made amazing friends, I've been exposed to so many works of literature and so many worlds that I never would have explored otherwise. I have found a creative outlet that both challenges me and inspires me to engage with literature more. And and for that I am thankful. N never did I think any of this would happen, and then on top of that, I got to have such a wonderful experience. I'm gonna rewind and tell you how it all happened. I was a bookseller for about two years. My first day job out of college was working at Barnes & Noble. It was a very fruitful experience. I learned a lot. There, my love of translated literature started to flourish, and I had a coworker one day who said, well, why don't you read Korean translated literature? And I said, why don't I read Korean translated literature? And I stumbled across a book called Please Look After Mom. Please Look After Mom is, of course, written by Kyung Suk Shin, and I I didn't actually like that book at first. Like, I thought it was, I thought it was lovely, but upon completing it for the first time, I put it down and I, I, I kind of let it be where it was. And I think I've told this story on my channel before, but that is a book that over time, week after week, preceding me reading it, I just found myself constantly thinking about it. It wouldn't leave my brain. And moments more and more started to appear, and I started to interact with those as part of my everyday life. From this one book that was so simple and and something that I thought I would never think of ever again. That led me to another book by Kyung Suk Shin, which was The Girl Who Wrote Loneliness. If you don't know this about me, that is like possibly, and it's so hard to say because there are so many books in the world and there are so many books that I've read, but that, that is like my number one. That is my favorite book. I think that book is, is absolutely brilliant. And from there I moved on to I'll Be Right There. I'll Be Right There is extremely powerful. I remember reading about two thirds of the way into that book where it really slaps you in the face and I was just sweating and was so emotionally impacted by it. Then I realized that those were the only three novels that were translated from Kyung Suk Shin's original Korean text, and I was so worried that I wasn't gonna get more until I found out about these bilingual editions. There's a small book called The Place Where Harmonium Was. I read that. It was enough to sustain me until I found out that there was another book coming out that was written by Kyung Suk Shin. It was written in 2007 and was finally being translated now. That book was The Court Dancer. Now The Court Dancer, I've talked a lot about my channel. All of these books I've talked about so much on my channel, so I apologize if you've heard all of this before, but I don't mind telling it over and over again because it does mean so much to me. I found out that The Court Dancer was being translated and that it was being translated by a man named Anton Herr, who I immediately stalked and found on Twitter and followed him. And the reason why was because I wanted to find out more about what this translation was going to be like. I wanted to get in touch with the voice of who was going to be translating this author who I have come to fall in love with. Lo and behold, Anton Herr became one of the most lovely, engaging, and, and generous people I have met via the internet. One day he offered to do an interview with me about The Court Dancer and about this book that he had coming out, and I was so excited. As it came closer to the release of The Court Dancer, I took him up on his offer, I made that video with him, and I will link that down below. I will also link all of Anton's information, although he does a very good job of self-promotion in that video. But he is absolutely wonderful. He has a lot of other texts coming out soon, so definitely look that up. And then a month passed and the book came out. The Court Dancer by Kyung Suk Shin came out and I devoured it and I made a review, which I will also link that down below. That review was so difficult for me to do because I loved this book so much and I revere Kyung Suk Shin so much, so I felt like any words I could say would be a disservice to my experience reading it because you know, how do you express in coherent thoughts the amount of love that you can feel towards a, a work of literature? I don't know. That video was an attempt. There's just so much good. There's so much I want to talk about. I want to, like, make another review video for this just to talk about all the things that excite me about it. Maybe I'll do that after I read it a third time. I've read this book twice. 
I want to read it like 40 more times and the rest of her books too. Oh my goodness. But after that review came out, apparently it had caught some attention and Anton emailed me saying that he was going to put me in contact with Barbara Zitwer, uh, who is Kyung Suk Shin's agent, and I might be able to attend an event where I get to meet her. And I was just over the moon excited. I've never been more happy. I actually got that email from Anton on my birthday, which was like the best present. So Anton, you gave me the best birthday present I think I've ever had. Barbara Zitwer then contacted me. Uh, she is the most remarkable, sweet, kind, gener like she is just like, the the nicest human, the most welcoming. She, I, I never felt so instantly comfortable upon interacting with someone than with Barbara. She emailed me and said, hey, you're going to do an event with Kyung Suk Shin. So here's me thinking that I might be able to get, you know, like a ticket or, or a free entry to an event with Kyung Suk Shin. But no, in fact, I got to introduce her and conduct a Q&A with her all because Barbara seemed to engage with my videos and thought I would be a nice fit having read all of Kyung Suk Shin's work and, and having been such a, a fan. Which again, like, YouTube has always been just a hobby for me. The past year it's been very fun to, you know, engage with all of you about videos and about books and about the community and I, I never thought that anything would actually come of it and then lo and behold, something did. So last week I did the event. I wrote an introduction and I, I got to spew all of my fanboy love about Kyung Suk Shin. I got to interview her. There was a full like eight question Q&A of all the things that I really wanted to ask. I don't even know if the audience was remotely interested in my questions because I was just so excited to talk about this book and talk about a lot of her writing process and who she is and then afterwards, I got to speak with her so much. I got to meet her husband. There was an interpreter there. Her name is Selena Lee, who is absolutely lovely. She has a podcast. I will link her information down below. She's incredible. She helped conduct the entire evening. And I got to meet, have dinner with, and interview and engage with my favorite author. I, I, I still don't believe it. It still doesn't feel real. Um, but it happened. And then this past Saturday, there was another event where I got to again introduce her and engage with her on a more casual level. It was a little bit of a soiree sort of party evening. And again, it was, you know that game that you play where you're like, oh, pick, you know, three people to have dinner with, living or dead. Kyung Soo Jin was on my list for quite some time since I discovered her books. She has been on my list because I'm just so curious about how her brain works and who she is and how she manages to craft such brilliant literature, and how her voice remains so strong despite having been translated by so many different people. And all of that came true. So like, check that off my bucket list, check that off my list of people I want to have dinner with because I had dinner with her. And on top of all of this, she's amazing. She's the funniest, sweetest, she, she wanted to talk with me and we had some amazingly earnest conversations and I got insight into her writing craft and it made me want to reread all of her books. Something that I do want to say, um, if you have read Please Look After Mom or are interested in Please Look After Mom as a novel, something that she said during one of the questions that I asked her, or questions that she was asked, was that she wrote the last line of Please Look After Mom first. And when she had that line in her head, she then knew that she had to write an entire story that led up to it. I did not know that, so now I have to reread Please Look After Mom just so I can experience that moment again. Um, things like that, just like whose brain works like that? I, I'm mesmerized, I'm so inspired. But just, I, I, I thought I would make this video in its casual, chatty, rambly glory to just say thank you. Thank you, all of you who watch my videos and support me and comment and interact with me and are so positive with me. And thank you to all of the friends I have made. And thank you to anyone who has read any books by Kyung Suk Shin um, because I have promoted her so much on my channel because I love her work and believe in her work so much. Um, it, it's been a real honor to have been able to do that. And it wouldn't have happened had I not made this YouTube channel. I think going to these events really did help me get out of my slump 
that I made a video of earlier because what is more inspiring than to see the fruits of your labor culminate in like a life moment, you know? I have been extremely inspired since that event. I have been reading a lot more. I'm excited to make some more videos. And this is just a big thank you. This is just a big gush. I got to meet my favorite author. It's freaking cool. If you have any comments or questions, please put those down below. Or if you just want to say hello, I always welcome that, as you know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.